What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another discussion video and today we're going to be talking about Kyoto Revel Tech, in particular the My Hero Academia line. Now this is a video I've been waiting to drop but I feel like now is the right time especially considering the fact that they just dropped Hawks and Endeavor, two of the greatest figures in the line. Like Revel Tech is really killing it right now and honestly they've already surpassed Figma, in my opinion. So, um, yeah, I just figured I'd do a top 10 video on all of the Revel Tech My Hero Academia figures that I would like to see. And um, I'm going to tell you guys right now, I'm sorry for the pictures that I showcased. Google had some horrible pictures uh, of the My Hero Academia characters. So, uh, yeah, be expecting that. But anyway, you guys know how these videos work. Go ahead and drop a like for your boy. Uh, that always motivates me to make these videos. And let's get right into it. Now I'm going to try to stay away from as much as Class 1A as possible, but there are particular characters that I do really want from Class 1A, starting with Sue. This is a figure that I think would be right up Revel Tech's alley, and honestly, this would be one to really showcase just how good they are when it comes to doing the articulation, because she is definitely, without a doubt, the most agile character in the series. She can get into those frog-like slash Spider-Man-like poses, and I would really love to see that with the figure. Not to mention they could go crazy with all the accessories, um, especially the tongue-out accessories and maybe some of the others of her using her quirk. I don't know, man. This is one I'd really be looking forward to. Unfortunately, I don't see it coming, at least for a long time. But if they do make it, this will be one of the quickest pre-orders of the My Hero Academia line for me. Coming in at number nine is My Hero Academia Two Heroes Villain number nine. And that's the reason that I put him here. I don't know why, man, but I really love this dude. And honestly, I feel like most My Hero Academia fans really enjoy this character as well. From what I know, this is the most favorited movie out of the three for My Hero Academia. So I feel like most people would probably agree. Seeing Deku and Bakugo having a team up to take this guy down, as well as the rest of the Class 1A I think it was just, it was really a battle of epic proportions and something about this dude's character design just really resonated with me. It's not so much his purpose or anything like that, but I felt like he was a very solid villain and I would love to have this guy in action figure form. Once again, this is one that I don't see coming uh, probably at all, but again, I would love to have it. Number eight is yet another character I feel like would probably be the most suitable for Kyoto Revel Tech, even just with the pose that he's in on this image that's on screen right now, that would scream Revel Tech. And it's none other than the hero killer himself, Stain. This dude shook the entire My Hero Academia community when he was introduced into the series. And to this day, people, some people still say that he is their favorite villain of the series. And this one, I feel like would be crazy for Revel Tech not to tackle. Now, of course, there are other villains that I think should come before him, especially considering the fact that we're on season six. But Stain is one we just have to have. This dude is just perfect for Revel Tech in every aspect and they could really go crazy with the accessories and all Revel Tech please get on this we need this guy like expeditiously so we can get rid of the McFarlane <laughs> just a fair warning for the next two I am about to simp so you guys have been warned coming in at number seven is none other than my queen mountain lady and I know this is one we're not going to get in figure form, man. I know we're not going to get this unless the My Hero line lasts for like eight, nine years. But, oh, I would love Mount Lady, man. I don't know what it is. I really just love this woman, bro. Like, from the moment she was introduced, I, I went full blown fanboy and i don't know what they could do with her accessories i uh, love as long as it doesn't turn out like mikey from tokyo revengers she can come with a couple of hands couple of facial expressions maybe some impact effects i'd be okay with that i know obviously they can't do her using her quirk but please Revel Tech, drop this one. somebody drop this one i don't care if figma has to go back i just want to mount lady figma actually no i don't want figma uh we, i need a figure of her but not figma now, I told y'all that I was going to simp for the next two. So after Mountain Lady, I'm sure you guys already knew the next was going to be 
Midnight. She is another character who is fan favorited by the community. And if you don't know, you don't know. I'm sorry for you. But this woman deserves all the love, man. And I would really love to have this one in figure form. Um, they could definitely give her some of her sadistic expressions, hopefully, some angry expressions. Definitely like some little smoke effects for when she uses her quirk. Um, I was going to say something. I'm not going to add that. But there's a couple of accessories they can add for her, man. And I would really enjoy, uh, all jokes aside, I'd really enjoy just posing her up fighting villains alongside Mount Lady, man. This is one I really want to add to my collection. And we need more teachers. We got Aizawa on the way. We got All Might. I'd love for some more. So, Revel Tech, bring it. Now, number five is a given. This is a figure that I feel like is basically mandatory when it comes to the My Hero Academia line. It is none other than the villain himself, all for one, the guy that everyone hates. I don't think this guy has any fans. Um, you might think he's a badass because of his quirk, but this guy is a loser. I hate him, but I would love to have him in figure form so I can pose him getting beat up by All Might. This dude is the only villain I know in... Shonen to take the worst L on live TV and then come back still talking trash, man. <laughs> I hate this guy. But honestly, I feel like Revel Tech could knock this figure out of the park. They could give him his crazy quirked out arm, uh, at least two different head sculpts where he has this mask on and then where he's unmasked and he's kind of beat up. They could go all in on this figure, man. And I really hope that this is one we get sooner rather than later. Coming in at number four is none other than my favorite villain in the series right now, the boy Dobby. And if you are caught up with season six, then you will realize just how much of a maniac this dude is. And for whatever reason, that's exactly why I like him. I would love for Revel Tech to drop this guy with his crazy trench coat and all kinds of crazy flame accessories like they did with Endeavor. This is a figure that they could totally just rock out and go all in when it comes to accessories, crazed expressions, and they could also give him, if you're caught up, spoiler warning, click off if you have not, they could also give him the white hair. And if you don't know, then you'll find out. Watch season six to see why. But I would love for them to drop Dobby, man. I think he's definitely one of the fan favorited villains. And this is one that would be very enjoyable to have in my collection. Continuing on with the villains, number three is another figure that is absolutely mandatory. It is none other than Tomoro Shigaraki. And I gotta be honest, man, I didn't even care for this dude at first. I thought he was crusty, but by the time we hit about season five, I was like, yo, this guy has real potential as a villain, and then come season six, he really showcased it. First of all, I love this look for Shigaraki, and I would just love to have a figure of it, man. I'm not sure what they could do with his quirk, the decay, but maybe they could do something to showcase like his regenerative skills, or I don't know, maybe some other stuff. Either way, just the figure itself itself would be fine for me as long as he comes with a couple of faces where he has the hands on maybe some interchangeable eyes interchangeable expressions whatever they want to do i would be all for it i need this figure now Coming in at number two is a character who became one of my favorites of all time, all in a span of about 90 minutes. It is none other than World Hero Mission, the third movie of My Hero Academia, Rhodey Soul. I don't know why, man. I literally fell in love with Rhodey. Like, I love Rhodey. And every minute that he was on screen, I really enjoyed him. And honestly, fans like myself have been begging Horikoshi to bring him back into the series. I really hope that he does because Rhodey is just so cool, man. Like, I love his storyline. I, I love everything about this character, man. I loved his relationship with Deku and even some of the rest of the characters once he met them. Like, I, I just love this character, man. And again, this isn't one where they have to go all in on the accessories. We just need Pino, a couple of his cocky expressions, maybe one serious expression, his uh, briefcase, and that'll be it. That would make the perfect figure. Another one I don't see happening, but oh, I really would love it. I hope it does. Now, I'm sure many people were expecting Medio to be my number one as soon as you saw that Rhodey was my number two. But to be honest, I love all of the big three 
equally. You can't sleep on Tamaki and Nejide. You just can't. They are really sick characters. And from the moment they were introduced, I really did love them. Uh, obviously, Meteo is the one who gets the most shine. But still, man, I just really want all three of these. Now, I know Three figures is a cop-out, but in my opinion, these guys are a squad. Even though they get very little time together, um, you need all three of them, man. I couldn't just say one, so I had to group these three together. I'm sorry, but Revel Tech could really go in on all three of these figures and another set that I would be looking forward to. Now, obviously, they can't release them all together, so one by one, drop Mideo, drop Tamaki, and then give us Nejide to complete the team. Now, when you're watching an anime by seasons as they released, sometimes yearly, you tend to forget just how vast the character roster of that series is. And that's one of the things that I found out while I was making this video. It was so tough for me to pick which characters I wanted. The entire time, I was like, man, I want this character more than that character, that character more than this character. And to be honest, I feel like I left out some really good characters, man. Uh, I would also love to see Chisaki, uh, Kamen Nari, Yarozu, Lady Nagant, the previous uh, one for all users, Toga, Twice. It's just so many characters, man, with this series. And I don't know, it was tough, but I think I got it down to a good list. I dropped a good solid 11 or 12. I don't know how many I dropped, something like that. Maybe 13. I, I, I forget. But um, yeah, it was tough, man. It, it really was tough. But now I am curious. I want to know what characters are you guys looking forward to? Are there any characters that I left out that you want? Um, or are there any characters that I had on this list that you want over the others? I just want to know you guys' list. You guys let me know in the comments. Um, and as long as you guys enjoy these videos, I'm going to try to keep making these. I like to kind of switch up my content a bit. So I hope that this was a good switch up for you guys. But anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. That always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are. And uh, bye.